And the city. Uh, which city? Yeah, which city? And who garden? That's a, that's a village close to Brussels. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then that's not so far from Riga. <laughs> no, no, no but, I, but I live in Riga as well. I'm the Belgian ambassador here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You're, you're a big number of ambassadors here yeah, supporting the, the prize. Yeah. yeah. And how do you like the weather today in Riga? I think it's perfectly time between uh, two days of rain, nice weather for the Euro Prize. I think they did even heaven is with us, I think. Yeah. yeah. And what are you waiting from this huge uh, prize? I think it will help to build up the momentum that's already being created to, uh, to have more respect for fundamental freedoms and more respect for uh, LGTB within, within Latvia. It's, it's already happening, I think, but it's, it should go a bit faster, perhaps, and I think it, it, no, it's going in the right direction. And, uh, yeah, and in the Belgium, what is the attitude about Pride? Well, we, are, we are here with uh, two, uh, four ministers, actually, supporting the Pride. We have uh, two ministers, two state secretaries, two members of parliament, so we are very, very supportive. Uh, the Belgian Pride is here, uh, also the, the, the board of the European Pride which are Belgians as well. So no, we, we are very supportive. And in Belgium, the full uh, legal arrangements have been made for, for gay marriage, gay adoption and everything. So we, we want that, that this can be achieved also in other places outside. Though. Where are you from? I'm the ambassador of the Netherlands to Latvia. Uh, what do you think about weather today in Riga? The weather? Yeah, the weather. Well, it is beautiful weather. It's going to be a wonderful Pride this afternoon. It's perfect for Pride? It's, it's absolutely perfect. Pride is great when it rains as well, but when it's sunny it's even better. Yes. Um, and what you are waiting about this pride, what you are thinking and... You know, I think, I think the pride is a celebration of human rights. And the fact that this takes place in Riga today is, is, is commendable because the Latvian government has helped making this possible, showing their commitment to freedom of expression, to human rights and to the right of everybody to be who they are. from Ukraine. And Ukraine, uh, what city in Ukraine? It's Nikolai, the southern part of the, of the country. Okay. Uh, what you are thinking about the weather today in Riga? It's perfect for, for pride or need something more, more sunny or...? Well, I think that the weather is actually perfect. It's not really cold and it's not sunny because, you know, sunny can make you really tem. <laughs> uh, what are you waiting from this pride? Um, well, I think that the most important part is just to to walk uh, and to see other people, how they are excited about the pride and um, uh, to feel this, you know, kind of good experience about walking uh, during the parade. So I think that my m biggest expectation is just to have some, some fun and to be proud to be here today. And you have a pride in Ukraine too? Um, yes, we do. It's um, it's held in Kyiv, and we also have uh, our own pride in Nikolaev city, but without March. Yeah, but what people in Ukraine are thinking about pride? Um, well, it's a really hard <laughs> question. I think <laughs> <laughs> they are friendly or not so friendly. Well, there are different polls that show different kind of opinions. You know, some people want to support it, some people don't want to support it, some people are strictly against it. So yeah, I think it's really different opinions in society. And what do you think uh, in Ukraine is easier or in Latvia is easier to go to in the Pride? 
and show what you are? Well, I think that probably in Latvia it's easier to to participate in Pride because of, first of all, um, Latvia is part of Europe yeah. and Ukraine is just on, on the way to be a part of Europe and this, you know, depends on different legislations, which Ukraine uh, doesn't still have. So I think Latvia is easier. We come from uh, Belgium and uh, we are here with a delegation of more than 50 people and also four ministers of Belgium and uh, two people of the parliament came to support the Riga Pride, and the Euro Pride here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think about the weather today? Ah, we are so happy because uh, I arrived here on Monday and they announced rain and 18 degrees and look, there is sun and 2021, yeah, 20, nice. so I'm, I'm happy about it. Uh, what you are waiting <laughs> from this Pride? What are you waiting? Waiting, ah. waiting well, from people. It's, uh, from no, no, it's, it's, well, I'm organizing, I'm one of the organizers of the Belgian Pride and it's completely different because in Belgium now the, most of the laws are in favor of LGBT rights yeah. and here there's still an enormous fight to have so I think it's much more important to have a, a pride here than the one we have well it's different but I mean it's very very important to support what is happening here and what is attitude for, for from peoples in Belgium about prides? well in Belgium now the pride became uh, more a celebration of diversity. A lot of people, uh, even if they are not lesbian, gay or bisexual, trans, they come to the Pride because they want to celebrate diversity and the right to be yourself. So it became something uh, more festive, but always uh, political. But uh, in Belgium, we, we have Pride since 20 years and uh, the situation changed completely. Hello, we are from Slovakia. We would like to ask some questions. Sure, okay. Um, where, where are you from? from? We're from Stockholm, Sweden. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the weather today in Riga? Ah, the weather is beautiful, perfect. It's, it's perfect for Pride? It's perfect for a Pride Parade. Uh, what you are waiting from this Pride in Riga? This, what, what, what are you waiting from this ah, Pride? We're expecting a, a great parade of, of joy and pride to, to be able to show the people of Riga that uh, uh, LGBT rights are human rights and that yeah. this is a positive uh, experience for everyone. And how I see you are a gay police. <laughs> We're the Swedish uh, gay police. Uh, and, and what is the attitude in Sweden of, of, uh, for Pride? What do people start thinking about? It? I think that the Pride Parade in Sweden is not very controversial anymore. Uh, yeah. the, the Stockholm Pride is a huge party for the whole city. Uh, but of course, the the fact for us as, as policemen to walk in the in the pride parade in uniform is rather new also in Sweden. The first time was uh, I think 2001, uh, and then it was quite controversial. Uh, but now it's uh, it's generally accepted also I would say. Uh, but also in in Sweden in the big cities like Stockholm, um, it's a lot more open. If you go to smaller cities in the countryside or, or suburbs uh, you have you still have uh, more prejudice
The whole city is celebrating grandparents with the grandchildren. We are like one big happy family. So we wish that what we have in Amsterdam for all the people here in, in Latvia as well. Aren't you afraid a little bit of, that you see those protesters outside the, you know, they are speaking and making some, maybe you don't understand what they're saying, but I mean, does it, does it feel like okay or not okay? Well, uh, we see a lot of police as well. So we feel really good protected and we uh, have all the hope that will, nothing will happen. Thank you very much. You should have brought business cards with me from yesterday. So I can remember. No, but you should. And yeah, uh, a volunteer like an LGL. Well, we're from Norway. <laughs> and in Norway, what city? Uh, I'm from Bergen, he's from Oslo. Oslo yeah. And you're a friend? Yes. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the weather today? It's perfect or bright? This is the perfect, yeah, because it's not too hot, and it's not raining, and it's still sunny a little bit, so perfect. And what you are waiting for from this Pride? Uh, well, first of all, the parade just starts. We're ready for that, and we're ready to like move people. Yeah, make history. Make history. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is your first pride in Riga. No, I'm the manager of the Bergen Pride in Norway, and he is in LLH, Norwegian LGBT Association. Uh, but it's the first pride where. Yeah, in Riga. Riga. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. And what is that you draw from people in Norway about pride? What they are thinking? They are friendly or not so friendly? Well, the difference is in Norway, it's like. Uh, a lot easier to go pro. We don't need all the police. It's, it's yeah. easier, and but they look at us and they think it's respectful what people here are doing, what people in uh, other countries are doing, where it's not that legal as in Norway. So we look on people who walk in the parades all over the world with respect. And in Oslo, there's um, it's the second biggest um, fest <laughs> yeah. party in Oslo. So it's the national day, and then it's the pride parade in June. Oh, sweet. 